Good morning to all of you guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It is your host, Athena Sarmiento, and welcome back to another show of Whitney High Live. As you can obviously tell, Whitney High Live shows will now be broadcasted every Wednesday instead of every Friday. So, if you are a part of any club or other organization and looking for more inquiries, please make sure to email us at winniehs.live at abcusd.us. You can also follow our Instagram so you never miss out on any update we have there. You can follow us at winniehs.live. And last but not least, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss out on any broadcast or other video that we decide to post. So this Monday, February 1st, marked the first day of Black History Month. So coming at you is a video from Young Black Scholars. Hi Whitney, I'm Chazara Mizima, co-president of Young Black Scholars, and this month we're celebrating Black History Month, so Young Black Scholars has weekly theme meetings, and our first theme is Black Influence in Music. Yesterday, Young Black Scholars met and discussed how many different artists contributed to music in genres such as jazz and hip-hop. Also, just a reminder that we will be having another meeting with Black Family Circle tonight, so please make sure to join and take advantage of many different resources. We just wanted to make sure that we all remember, Black history is American history, and for that reason, it should be important to us all. Be updated on future meeting links, times, and announcements on our Google Classroom, Remind, Instagram, and email. And be on the lookout for next week's theme. Happy Black History Month! Thank you so much, YBS. Up next is a video from your book. Roll the clip. Alert. Missing stones. Alert. Missing stones. Your book needs your help to collect the five infinity stones to restore the infinity yearbook. Are you on board? We're having a contest for club photo submissions and the five stones that you can win are most original photo, best candid, most creative meaning screenshot, most photo submitted, and photo requirement met for all months. Try and get them all by submitting your photos to your club's Google Photo album. Each club that gets a stone will be honored on a special page in the Golden Yearbook. The contest starts today and ends March 1st. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me, Shravani Kisti, or Kayla Elmero, or you can also contact us via Instagram at yearbookwhs. Best of luck on your journey. And now, coming from Whitney's very own Ecology and Wildlife Club, we have a video on tree planting. Here it is. Is your backyard in need of greenery? Do you hate going to the doctors every day? Are you too tired to walk to the store? Well, with the Gala Apple Tree, all of these problems are no more. This all-natural two-foot bare root tree will provide you with the juiciest and reddest apples available. This tree could be your first step in combating climate change. Our goal is to distribute 110 Gala Apple Trees, and with your help, we know that we can succeed. Create a better tomorrow by buying now. It's easy. Visit www.treeplenish.org slash Whitney. Click request a tree, finalize your purchase, and pick it up. Before I got a gala apple tree, my life was sad and empty. Only eating fruits like bananas and oranges. But now? Now I finally found my life's purpose. Buy a gala apple tree today for only $7.30. Order by February 13th to get your tree on March 13th. Again, purchase your tree at www.treeplenish.org/whitney. If you are unable to purchase a tree, donate to our GoFundMe at www.tinyurl.com/ego-donate. Thank you so much, Ego Club, and remember, the website to purchase a tree as well as the donation link will both be linked in the description box below. And coming from our very own Winnie High Live team, we have Eli giving you some study tips. Have you ever lied to yourself and said? new semester, new me, and tried to set better grades this semester, but just end up slacking off a couple weeks later? Well, I have. And now that I'm a senior, I want to share my advice with you so you can become a happy and studious teenager.
ever lose track of time watching TV and eating cereal so you forget to turn in an assignment? Well, I have a simple solution for that. You check the time every now and then. And if you have enough time, you can just continue. Nah, I can do it later. I've been working for 15 minutes now. Now I can scroll on TikTok for the next 30. The best way to avoid getting burnt out is to take a break. See, I believe in a 1 to 2 ratio. For every 1 minute of work, you get 2 minutes of break time. Getting a good night's rest is crucial to performing at 100% each day. I always try to shoot for 9 hours of sleep at least. I get 4.5 hours from 3am to 7.30 and then I'm awake for school and then another 4.5 hours from 12.30 to 5 which equals 9 hours. Thank you so much Eli. I will definitely be uh, using those tips that you gave us. Um, but more importantly, uh, here we have Yanni giving us a game review of Jackbox. This game review is on the Jackbox Party Pack 7. This pack contains 5 games for groups of up to 8 people. The first game of the pack is Quiplash 3. In this game, you and your friends are creating witty answers to prompts in order to earn the most number of points. During the first round, you are given 90 seconds to answer the two prompts that are given to you on your device. After, everyone is able to vote on which answer they find the funniest, and the one with the most votes gets the most points. A quiplash is when 100% of the votes go towards one player. This process repeats around two, but this time the points are doubled. In the third round, there's a thriplash, where you're given only one prompt, but you need to give a three-lined answer for that prompt. Now, the points are worth six times the original amount. Here you can create a more complex joke, or just create three different answers. The winner of the game is the one who earns the most points by the end. Next up we have the devils in the details. In this game you work with your friends as a family of devils. You need to communicate and cooperate to finish the main tasks of the game, which are yellow. The aim of this game is to pass the minimum family score by completing as many tasks as possible. The task could be solo tasks like calling for pizza, group tasks like looking for ingredients, or whole family tasks where everyone has to be doing the same tasks at the same time. There are selfish tasks in the game, which earn more points for the player, but sabotages the whole group. After the three tiring days of working together, you are given a grade based on your family score. Whoever earns the most points is named the best devil in the group. Champed Up is a drawing game where you're given a superlative and then you have two minutes to draw and name a champion that fits it. Then you're given two minutes to create a competitor for a champion that another player drew, but you don't know what superlative they were given. After, everyone votes on which competitor is more fitting for the title, or whatever they find funnier. Even though this game is a drawing game, you don't have to be good to win, like this one. For the second round, you create another champion and another competitor, but when it gets to voting time, after the title is chosen, a new title is given and you're able to switch your champions and earn more votes. Next is Talking Points, a game where you practice your improv and presentation skills. First, you create the titles that your friends would need to choose to have their presentation on, and then you choose what the title of your presentation will be. The game randomly assigns you an assistant for your presentation, and as an assistant, you help them by choosing the next photos and text in their slideshow. If they're a good friend, they'll pick something that fits your topic. Your points are based on how engaged the other players are during your presentation. They measure this by the amount of up and down arrows that the other players do on their devices. After each presentation, the viewers write down their favorite quotes or comments. In the end, each player makes up an award that they are able to gift to another player. The winner is the one who ends up with the most points. Last but not least, we have Blather Round. In this game, you are given a choice of either a person, place, thing, or story that you would need to describe to your friends. For your hints, you can only choose from the list of adjectives and nouns that the game provides for you. 
the faster your friends guess your thing, the more points you earn from the time bonus. While your friend is giving hints, you can just continue guessing without any consequences. The more you guess, the easier it would be for your friend to make hints, because for some of the hints, they're able to compare the thing they're describing to one of the other player's guesses. If they use your guess as a hint, then you can earn some extra points. In the second round, the process repeats, but this time points are doubled. This is my personal favorite from the pack because when my friends and I play, we become extra competitive and it's fun to try and guess the answer after only a couple of hints. My friends and I love to get on a Discord call to stream the game and play together. We each open the link jackbox.tv, type in our names and the game code, and have the stream open on another tab. This is a great way to hang out while staying distanced and safe. Thank you so much, Vianney. And last but not least, wrapping up our episode, we have Quarantine with Teachers with the one and only Miss Hewlett. Check it out. You're like a blank, like a blank color. Sorry, just a sec. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Quarantine with Teachers, where we catch up with our teachers, talk about our quarantine lives, and just spill some tea all over video chat. We're your hosts, Christine and... Mappa. A special guest host today. Hi, I'm Viani, and today we are interviewing Miss Hewlett. Miss Hewlett, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. Um, hope you guys are all good too. Um, for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Miss Hewlett and I have been teaching here at Whitney. This is my third year, so I'm really excited to be on Quarantine with Teachers. Um, but yeah, thanks for having me. So have you picked up any new hobbies during quarantine? Uh, so I think that quarantine actually has been, um, I guess it's forced me to kind of do things that I normally wouldn't do just because I, I felt like, oh, well, I have like some extra time on my hands. So there's been a few things like, um, I mean, I've been reading more, which I guess isn't a new hobby because obviously I'm an English teacher, but reading more. Um, and then also like I live with my parents and my dad, he ordered a, a badminton set on Amazon. So we like have been to the park a couple of times to like, um, you know, try to play badminton. And honestly, like props to anyone who's on the badminton team because I thought it, that it was going to be easy, but I was sore for like a full week. Has there been like anything interesting that has happened or like something that you want to spill to us that your students don't know? <laughs> well, this is quarantine with teachers, so yeah. I have to fill you in on the fact that your teachers, they like can definitely tell when you are like on FaceTime with your friends during <laughs> class because I see you guys like, ah, like laughing at all the same time and I'm like, oh, they're on the same call and they're on the same call. <laughs> so, you know what? Um, I mean, I feel you. I get that you can't like, you know, chat during class like you normally can, but I just want to let you know that I see you. <laughs> so we've heard that your seventh grade class likes to watch live. So is there anything you would want to say to your seventh graders? Yes, I would like to tell my seventh graders that um, Whitney is a really fun place as long as you um, put yourself out there and you kind of try to get over that initial hump of being shy. I have so many very, very shy seventh graders and I'm so excited to watch them get out of their shell, meet new people. Their favorite segment is Cooking with Eli. Um, and so um, I want to shout out Eli uh, just because um, I know that he's a, a big celebrity amongst the, the seventh graders, at least in my class. So um, just shout outs all around. Um, and yeah, um, seventh graders, you know, like enjoy middle school, enjoy this time because it does go by a lot, I think a lot more quickly than you'd expect. So, um, and I guess the last thing is just that I'm proud of them because this has been a weird year, um, definitely, but they're all rising to the challenge. Um, and it's, yeah, it's been fun. So shout out to my seventh graders. <laughs> so to wrap up this interview, the question we asked all the guests, quarantine with teachers is, Awesome, just like my three students, Christine, Viani, and Gabe, who I have for English for. <laughs> wow. Wow, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Hewlett, for being in this week's episode of Quarantine with Teachers. Don't forget to subscribe to the Whitney High School Live YouTube page and to catch future interviews. And if you have any questions or topics you would like to, for us to cover, then DM us at WhitneyHighSchool.Live on Instagram. Peace right. out. Bye, everybody. Bye. And 
that is all that we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have had a great second semester thus far and will soon have a great Valentine's Day. Stay happy and healthy and we'll see you guys later. Bye!